Welcome back, LHS, to your Blue Devil News. I'm Emily. And I'm Elena. Senior night is Friday, March 22nd at 7 p.m. Anyone interested in being a part of the crew for the musical, please see Ms. Fitzgerald in room A704. Youth and Government competed in the annual conference last week in Nashville. Congratulations to the Wade Matthews, Tabitha Anderson, North Hopper, and Hannah Lawson for being outstanding delegates. Cameron Morgan and Kylie Roberts had their bill passed. North Hopper was also elected to be Speaker Pro Temp of the White House at the 2020 YIG Conference and was named an alternative to the Conference on National Affairs. HOSA students, we have some announcements, so listen up. In order to qualify for HOSA graduation stalls, you must have successfully completed five health science classes, or be state nationally affiliated and complete three health science classes, or complete one health science class and be an active state competitor. The medical terminology test is slated for April 10th. Those who successfully complete this test will earn three college credits in medical terminology. The library is holding a bookmark design contest. You may choose anything you want as long as it is school appropriate. Stop by the library to get a blank bookmark. Prizes will be given to the designers of the top three best bookmarks. First place will receive a $15 Starbucks gift card. Second place will receive a $10 Chick-fil-A gift card. And third place will receive a $5 Sonic gift card. The contest ends Friday, March 8th. You must bring the bookmark back to the library to be able to enter. Skills USA is sponsoring a dog food drive to support Lebanon animal control. Bring donations to C302 this week. This week, Lebanon's Humane Society will be selling hot chocolate and baked goods in the comments each morning until 7.15. Everything is 75 cents and helps support local animal shelters. Our Devilettes made sure this past weekend was exciting. After defeating Ravenwood High School, the girls qualified for the state tournament. Here's Ian to tell us more about it. What's up, LHS? I'm Ian, and this is your sports news. Yesterday, the Preds played the Minnesota Wild and won 3-2 in a shootout. They will play the Wild again tomorrow at 7. The Preds have 38 wins, 25 losses, and 5 overtime losses. With this record, the Preds are second in the Central Division. As of right now, the Preds are in the playoffs. Let's hope they can hold it out for the rest of the season. The Vols got their revenge on Kentucky over the weekend. The final score was 71-52. to The Vols are second in the SEC behind LSU. March Madness begins on March 19th. March Madness is where the top 68 teams in college basketball compete in the championship tournament. The winning team last year was Villanova. The Blue Devil Rugby Football Club will play their first game of the season this Thursday at 7 against Rutherford. The game will be held at Walter J. Barrett's <coughs> Middle School football field. Admission is free. Come support your Blue Devils. Man, our Devilettes sure made this past weekend exciting. Saturday night, they defeated Ravenwood High School and are state-bound. The Lebanon Devilettes punched their tickets to the TSSAA State Tournament Saturday night with a 45-33 win over Ravenwood here at Campbell Brain Gymnasium. If you happen to miss it, here are some highlights.
Junior Alyssa Miloski led the way with 23 points, which included six second half threes. Senior Christiane Brookshire had 10 points and eight rebounds. Jakeisha James and Aaron Grace Lester held UAB commit Jazz Harmon to only three first half points. The Devil Let's team defense and unselfish play have led them to their first state tournament appearance since 1982. This Thursday at 10 a.m., the Devilettes will play Bradley Central in the first round of the tourney. The game is at MTSU, Murphy Center, and Dr. Walters is providing two student pet buses to the game. That's 120 seats. Forms to ride are in the bank, must be filled out and signed back to school to reserve a spot on the bus. The bus ride is free, no charge, but admission to the game is $10. In order to secure your spot on the bus, you must bring back your permission slip signed by Wednesday, March 6th. Coach Barrett is challenging the student body to have 800 students at the game on Thursday. Let's show the whole state what Blue Devil Pride is all about. I'm Ian, and this has been your Sports News. Thanks, Ian. So this Thursday, LHS plays in the first round at 10. Don't forget to go by the bank and get the info you need to reserve your seat on the pet bus. Freshman, sophomore, and senior class shirts are on sale at the bank. Class shirts are a great way to have a tangible memory of high school. And prom may seem far away, but April 5th is dancing right around the corner. The theme is A Night of a Million Dreams, and prom will be held at the mill. Tickets are on sale now for $55. The last day for a free t-shirt with each ticket is Friday, March 8th. And the last day for ticket sales is Friday, March 29th. Tickets can be purchased at the Blue Devil Bank or via online payments on the LHS homepage. When renting your tux, go to the men's warehouse. They offer complete prom rental packages starting at $99.99. And FBLA has arranged for you to have a $40 off coupon. Just mention you're from Lebanon High School. Don't delay. Seniors, as a reminder to remain eligible for the Tennessee Promise Scholarship, there is a mandatory meeting at 5 p.m. in the cafeteria on March 6th. Congratulations to the Science Olympiad. They competed Saturday at Nashville State University in several science events. In total, Lebanon High School placed in five events. It's donut time and do not miss it. Fresh hot glaze, chocolate, and other flavors will be sold in the commons in the morning until the bell and in between classes in front of C-306. Teachers, if you would like to have some delivered to your classroom, please have them email Miss Ward. Well, that's all we have for today, LHS. I'm Emily. And I'm Elena. And this, this has been news to you from the white and blue. blue.